Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So I don't make many videos about butterflies in the winter in Minnesota, but I'm gonna tell you about a really cool butterfly, the morning cloak. And I'm doing it in the winter because it's a really unique butterfly. And I mean, look, Minnesota, we've got ice on the lakes. It's a cool day. It's in the 30s, no snow yet. But most butterflies, you know, don't make it through the winter. This one does. And I'm gonna share with you how they do that. So the morning cloak kind of shuts down its system and it'll go inside where bark kind of comes off trees and kind of get into a spot like that or cracks in buildings or holes in trees and they'll just shut down their system when it gets cold and it gets cold in Minnesota, 30 today, but sometimes, you know, it gets well below zero and the morning cloak can handle that weather by shutting its system down. And so when it warms up occasionally in the winter, if it gets to the fifties, it might come out and you know, you might see a, a butterfly in the winter in Minnesota, which is crazy. So that's what I'm gonna share, all kinds of unique tidbits about the morning cloak with you. It has all kinds of interesting things about it that no other butterflies have. So join me for the rest of my video. All right, I'm gonna share five amazing facts on the morning cloak with you. The first one I've touched on, morning cloaks don't fly south for the winter. Not when it gets cold. Instead, they overwinter as adult butterflies, hiding away in cracks, in rocks, or holes in trees, and are able to shut down their bodies all winter long, effectively hibernating in a manner known in insects as torpor. So that's super unique. The second unique fact is that because they can overwinter these morning cloaks, they become the longest living butterflies in North America. Most butterflies don't live long, but the morning cloak can live up to 10 months and maybe even up to a year. Super unique. All right, the third unique item is that the first caterpillars that hatch out of a group of eggs end up eating some of the other caterpillar eggs or the other small caterpillars. So they're guaranteed they get a really good first meal. These eggs are typically laid on willows, elm, poplar, birch trees, but I don't know, they eat each other a little bit cannibalistic when they start their lives. You definitely want to be the first one out if you're a caterpillar of a morning cloak. As the caterpillars get bigger, they stay in groups and they move in sync with each other to help scare away predators. They look bigger than they actually are. They also have these little spines on their back, which have a little stinging sensation. So you don't want to mess around with them and helps keep some of the predators away. Then eventually they get bigger and they'll want to go off and create a chrysalis. That chrysalis will eventually lead to more morning cloaks. The fourth super unique thing about the morning cloak is it knows how to play dead. So if it's on a tree eating some sap and a predator comes upon it, you can see it already has some camo. It looks a bit like a leaf, but it will fall from the tree down into leaves and it'll look like it'll just blend right in and it'll play dead in these leaves. And so not many insects know how to play dead as a way to keep it safe from its predators. All right, the fifth super unique thing about the morning cloak is it rarely eats from flowers and getting the nectar and pollen from a flower. I got this picture of a morning cloak in my garden on some milkweed, which was pretty cool, but normally you will see them on um, piles of mud, occasionally on dung, um, or on trees. They love the sap of the trees from maple trees, birch trees, are also, they love rotten fruit. So um, that can be a big part of their diet, eating rotten fruit. So that's super unique also for the morning cloak. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video on the morning cloak butterfly. It's truly a beautiful butterfly, one of the most amazing butterflies on the earth. And it's really common in the United States. So I hope you get to see it out in the real world. So that's all I got. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out. Have a great winter. Take care.